All right, in this video, we'll see how to calculate the covariance and correlation between two stocks return using Microsoft Excel. All right, suppose we have two stocks, stock X and stock Y. And these are the total returns of these two stocks for past few years. For example, in 2010, stock X returned 11% um, annually. And then uh, it was 7% and then some uh, rough years. And again, it bounced back in 2016. And finally, in the last year, uh, the return was 9%. Then we have the same thing for stock Y. And the mean or the average return for stock X is 7.33% and for Y is this much. And we also know the standard deviation of um, the returns of these two stocks. Now, using this information, we need to calculate uh, what is the covariance and correlation uh, between these two stocks return. All right, now covariance and correlation uh, gives us idea about how two variables, in our case, the returns of two stocks vary together. Uh, if you have a positive uh, covariance, uh, that means that um, these two stocks uh, moves in the same direction. So if one stock goes up, the other stock also goes up uh, and vice versa. But the strength of the relation, be it positive or negative, is better understood by correlation. In correlation, we have um, one value that is between negative one and positive one. If you get negative one, that means um, uh, these stocks are negative related. So uh, if one stock is doing well, the other one is most likely doing really bad uh, and vice versa. And if you have a correlation uh, coefficient of zero, uh, that pretty much means that um, the return of one stock doesn't have anything to do with the return of another stock. Uh, now, I'm not going to get into more depth on the concepts behind covariance and correlation, but what I'll do, I'll uh, put some links in the description uh, of some really good videos on correlation and covariance. That'll take you five to 10 minutes. Go through them uh, if you're new to this concept and want a uh, deeper understanding. Uh, now, let's see how to do it in the Excel. All right, now to calculate the covariance first, we'll be using covariance.s function. Uh, to use the function, select any cell, press the equal sign, and start typing covariance. And from the drop down menu, use the first one, covariance.p, when you are working with a population. But since in this case we are working with a sample here, we only have like last eight or nine years data, we'll be using covariance.s function. Double click on that, and then you'll see that it takes two parameters. Now uh, basically first parameter is uh, the values for first variable or the stock returns for uh, stock X. Now to put all this value here, what you do, select the first return, hold down the shift button and select the last year's return. So all this means that we have selected all the returns for stock X. Then press comma and do the same thing for stock Y. Then close the brackets and press enter. All right, we have a um, positive covariance uh, between stock X and stock Y returns. Now to calculate correlation, you'll be using the C-O-R-R-E-L correlation function. And we'll be providing the same inputs as before. So this is for stock X, then this is for stock Y. Close the brackets and we have a quite strong positive correlation. All right, uh, that's how you do it. It was a rather quick tutorial. Uh, if you have found this video helpful, please consider giving us a like uh, or subscribe to this channel. It really helps us out. All right, that's all for this video. See you in the next one.